Have you ever wondered what it's like to be a ghost living in a world of humans? Nah, not really. Well, I have, and it's not as glamorous as the movies make it seem. Nothing is exactly as it seems. But Beetlejuice, my furry friend, has figured it out. He really did it. He's mastered the art of blending in, of making humans think he's just another ordinary pup. So you're basically like a human dildo. But when Lydia Dietz calls upon him once again, Beetlejuice's secret life is about to be exposed, and the stakes are higher than ever. How do you like your steak? Letty. In Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, we're back in the boneyard of Winter River, where ghosts and ghouls roam like dogs off-leash in a haunted park. Really? That's creepy. Lydia Dietz, Winona Ryder, the once teen goth who saw beyond the human kennel, is now a full-blown psychic dog whisperer with her own TV show, Ghost House. I've never seen the show. But instead of fetching sticks, she's fetching spirits. That is so fetch. And her life is anything but a walk in the park. I'm gonna take a stroll back to the shack. Her daughter Astrid, Jenna Ortega, is more of a cat person, totally uninterested in Lydia's ghostly games. Let's play a game! And her boyfriend, Rory, Justin Thoreau, is a real dog. Sly, sneaky, and only after the treats. Silly rabbit, tricks are for kids! That come with Lydia's ghostly connections. Then, just when you think things couldn't get any more positively chaotic, Beetlejuice Michael Keaton comes trotting back into Lydia's life. Hey everybody! I'm back! <laughs> this ghostly mutt has been playing the good boy, living among the humans without so much as a bark. But when Lydia calls on him, the jig is up and Beetlejuice is back to his old tricks like a pup who just can't resist chasing his tail. Lucky doesn't chase her tail! He's got a new bone to chew on, tricking Lydia into another howlingly bad marriage scheme. The plot thickens like a bowl of gravy when Astrid, Lydia's rebellious pup, falls for a classmate who's hiding a secret darker than a thunderstorm. Tell me your secrets, I'll understand. Beetlejuice, never one to pass up a chance for mischief, sees this as the perfect opportunity to stir the pot. Come on, stir the pot, stir the melting pot, bam! Meanwhile, Lydia is dealing with more drama than a dog in a room full of vacuum cleaners. Did, did you vacuum? Her stepmother, Delia, Catherine O'Hara, is still barking mad with her outlandish antics, and her father, Charles, now headless and ghostly, is stuck in the afterlife, probably wishing he had nine lives. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. That's it. I'm dead. I'm a dead man. And let's not forget Dolores, Monica Bellucci, Beetlejuice's ex-wife, who's literally falling apart at the seams like a chew toy that's been through one too many rounds of tug-of-war. All you need is a good strategy in tug-of-war. She's on a mission to suck the souls out of the already dead, making them deader than a squeaky toy with no squeak left. Squeaky! Squeaky! In the movie, there's a scene where our ghostly friend Beetlejuice plays couples therapist, but trust me, this session goes more off the leash than a dog in a squirrel-filled park. Hey, where's that squirrel? Picture this. Instead of healing wounds, he's digging up more bones, spilling secrets like a pup with a squeaky toy it just can't let go of. Hey, give me my sock. It's a wild, tail-spinning moment that'll have you rolling over with laughter. It was indeed hilarious. <laughs> Speaking of things that make tails wag, if you love reviews with a bit of bite, check out our Yogi Sinsta merch. We've got everything from t-shirts and hoodies to coffee mugs that'll have you barking with joy. Plus, every purchase helps us fetch more movie reviews from a dog's perspective, so you're not just getting cool gear, you're helping us sniff out the next big hit. Don't pause on this opportunity, grab some merch, and let's keep the good times rolling. Order right now! While Beetlejuice Beetlejuice doesn't quite capture the tail-wagging charm of the original, it's still a fun romp for those of us who love a good ghost story with a side of fur-raising antics. No shenanigans on my watch! Tim Burton sprinkles in plenty of his signature style, ensuring that even if this sequel doesn't have the bite of the original, it still has enough bark to keep fans entertained. What are you, entertainment tonight? So whether you're here for the doggone good humor or the spooky, kooky plot twists, this movie is sure to have you howling for more. Woof, woof.